open banking has been very central to me for for a number of years now and, and payments for many, many more years. Um, and I guess as, as, as context to this, um, and yeah, I, 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 I have a privileged position of being part of Tony's advisory board. And um, uh, about 18 months or so ago, Tony and I started talking about this. I mean, I'm, I get very passionate about payments, kind of get a bit of a payments geek. I also now get very, very passionate about open banking definitely an open banking geek. And I, I genuinely believe this is the biggest change that's happening to the payment industry, certainly in my lifetime. Actually, the banking industry in general, a huge transformation to the way the banking industry will operate. I don't think we've seen the full extent of that yet. We're only at the, the early stages of the journey, but I, I, I think it's, it's going to be genuinely transformational. And Tony and I started talking to say, well, this should therefore be really important to uh, the EPA. Um, it will significantly change the landscape in which we operate. Therefore, we need to think really carefully around what does this mean for us? And just from a payments perspective, and I, I know on this group, I'm, I'm preaching to the converted, so I, I, I won't overdo it. But I genuinely, as I say, I, I think open banking is a huge opportunity for the payments industry. So it's creating a platform for real-time digital payment initiation, uh, that can happen over a different settlement rail than most payments have, have, have gone through historically, which, which, which brings potentially immediate settlement, different economics, a whole bunch of different characteristics. It's creating an environment wherein, as, as, as we mentioned a moment ago, it, it becomes a more open landscape with lower barriers to entry to start playing in, in payments. Um, I think it creates as well the potential to really combine great user experience with great security because we've got an environment where customers aren't having to share credentials and it is based on strong biometrics and a complete audit trail of every part of the, the transaction and loads of potential for more intelligence and more rules within, um, within, within payments and within future payment agreements. So the potential is, is enormous. Um, I think the reality though is we're not there yet. So we're, the UK is, is, is ahead of a number of markets, but we're still sort of approaching the end of a first phase, which was really steeped in regulation. The potential will really get unlocked, I think, as the market moves beyond uh, a sort of regulatory first view and, and, and the market starts to become much more commercial.